Why should someone care about the bus industry? First of all, because God cares about the people on the bus route. I've seen hundreds of people come to know Christ, moms and dads, children, teenagers. Their lives are forever changed and their destiny is forever settled because they hear about Jesus Christ through a bus worker. I love the bus ministry. I love investing in the bus ministry also because of what it does in the bus worker. I'm a product of someone whose life was changed, not for what I did for the bus children, but for what God did in my life through the bus ministry. My name is Carlos Ramirez, and I honestly believe people should invest in the bus ministry because it's an investment you won't, you won't regret doing. My life changed when a bus captain knocked on my door and they invested in me, and I had bus workers that loved me and cared for me. My name's Gabriel Dev Erickson Singh, the bus captain of uh, 126 in Division 9. And my bus captain, uh, Brother Gabe, thank goodness for him, because uh, if he wasn't here, then I don't know how I would be encouraged to come to church. They, they deserve your heart, they deserve your life. Like, you're not gonna go out and do something someday that you're not gonna do today. If you want to change lives in the future, the bus ministry, whatever division you're in, that's, you need to be changing lives today if you're going to do it tomorrow. Hi, my name is Dan Club. My name is Hannah Ness. My name is Katie Beller. I'm from 50-10, Division 10. I'm on 89-2, Division 5. Hi, my name is Kenneth Gonzalez from Chicago, Illinois, and I'm a bus kid from Chicago. Came from the Route 130, and I'm just happy of what God's done in this ministry. and for God bringing the bus workers and for the bus workers investing in the ministry. You have no idea who you have on your bus and who you're investing in. You have no idea what they can become if you have a dream for them. It changed my life so it just makes me want to invest in the ministry myself and help the bus kids get their lives changed as well. Picture those bus kids 10 to 15 years down the road. Where do you want them to be? Do you want them to be the future Sunday school teachers? The future deacons? Possibly assistant pastors like Ricky Torres is? And I just ask you to have a dream for your kids. My name is Charles and I serve here uh, in Division 9 on Bus 130. I was reached through the bus ministry. One of the reasons why I believe so much in the bus ministry is because we are really taking the gospel to everyone's home and we're sharing it. My name is Bethany Kirchhoff and I serve on 126 in Division 9. I'm glad that we had this opportunity to go to Chicago and reach others. Because if we didn't go to Chicago, who will? Who will reach all the bus kids, all the kids, and all the families in Chicago? There's so many people out there. I may not always be able to reach all of them, but I'll reach the ones that God wants me to reach. Hi, my name is Paul Kirchhoff. I'm a senior here at Harold Harrison College, and I am on Division 9, Route 126. So glad that I had the opportunity to serve all four of these years, invest in the bus ministry in Chicago. My name is Mikey, and I'm a student at Harold Anderson College, and I believe in the bus ministry. I was reached in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I'm so glad that people took the time to reach me and be able to help me. I am so thankful for the bus ministry because I believe it gives us a unique opportunity to be able to give the gospel and make a difference in hurting people's lives. My name is Brian Arala. I'm a bus worker in Division 9, Bus Route 122. It has been a joy uh, to be part of the bus ministry and now as a college student to invest back uh, into what somebody invested in me. I feel a reason you should invest in the bus ministry is because of the, of the product and the fruit that you can have. Um, many people have said you don't see the fruit of the product until many years after. God brings people to Christ in the bus ministry and he makes great Christians who serve in the bus ministry as well. I'm Belinda Gayona and I've been in the First Baptist Church bus ministry for over 40 years. My name is Iris Martinez. I'm Tommy Gonzalez. My name is Melody Lamb. I'm Rebecca Brooks. I'm on 89-9 on Division 5. I'm from Division 1, 70-2. I'm from 50-7. I love investing in the bus ministry. I love investing in the bus ministry. And I love investing in the bus ministry. I love investing in the bus ministry. I love the bus ministry. Bravo, bravissimo, bravo, bravissimo, bravo, bravissimo, bravo. I'll stick it that step again. Thanks so much. Oh, share the love. <laughs> I'm going, ah, stop staring at me like that, Beth. End. End it, Beth. Beth, end it. Keep all this in. <laughs> 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 I love it! <laughs> <laughs>